Alrighty then. It totally will lag out if I keep looking at my own screen, so let's not do that. Alright. Not okay. So I can't look at like any secondary screen. I can't like look at my own Twitch um, dashboard. Where are we gonna lag out? Alright, so. I left this with the terror mission going on. And like, I. The reason I stopped is because I don't want to go to the terror mission, but I guess we kind of have to, hey. So, this is. This started with three other friends. Um. So, that's the reason all the bases are kind of weird, and like, the names of craft are kind of weird. And names of like half our soldiers are kind of weird, like Clint Eastwood, and there's Han Solo, and then there's Han Solo again. Um, and you have Onigai Shimasu. Yeah, I, I don't really want to go to this terror mission. Like, it's the third terror mission, I don't really want to go to a third terror mission. We're only in like March, dude. We've had a terror mission every single month. That's absolutely garbage. And I don't remember how fast the Sky Ranger flies. Compared to daytime, I don't remember if we're fully decked out here either. Was we lost a tank? I don't think. Yeah, we don't have replacements, so I'm gonna need to bring more guys instead. And they're all rookies. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so there must be two soldiers in transit, because there's only 14. Oh no, they're both wounded. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh shit, we have foul suits, dude. That'll help. Like, this guy is pretty good, like Han Solo with the long name. He's a pretty good shot, that's probably why he's called Han Solo. Oh man, that is so laggy. Like, some of the menus are just laggy and some of them aren't, and I have no idea why. Let me just have a quick look. What about now? Holy shit, that like made it infinitely worse. I do not even know, dude. Like, I don't actually know what's causing this. My CPU is fine, my GPU is fine, so it must be a software thing. Oh boy. That is intense. Holy shit, look at that. Man. Wow. So that's happening. Uh, that's kind of unplayable. Let's try and fix that. Like, I don't really have anything going on though, is my issue. I guess I can close this. And see if that helps. Just closing stuff in the background. But, in theory it shouldn't be making any difference at all. Because again, I have plenty of CPU and GPU to go around. Ooh, good god. Alright, I'm gonna just restart the game. Maybe it doesn't like being all tabbed out while the stream's going, I don't know. Can't click buttons because it's so laggy. <laughs> Dear god, help me. Alright, I can nail this cancel. Oh, look at that. There's some good clicking right there. Oh, I have to just press yes and we're good to go. Oh, well okay, the menu has to load and then I can press yes and then I can restart the game. And then hopefully it's like, not gonna be trapping all over me. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure what part of the CPU or GPU pipeline is having issues, specifically while I'm streaming, but not while I'm recording. And it got worse when I tried to give it more resources. It's like that doesn't really make any sense. And the audio is not laggy, so I guess it's just a software thing. Alright. One more time. Look, now it's fine. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, is it fucking Shadowplay? Oh god. Wow, okay, well... 
So I just need to like tell Shadow Play to piss off and then everything's fine. Perfect. Where were we? Right, so we lost the tank on the last mission. So we need to get all the rookies on board. Still a little laggy, but like this is this is playable, I guess. Oh, there we go. It's back to normal. Maybe I've spoken too soon. We'll find out. I should probably just disable shadow play next time this happens. But the moment we only have, why? They don't have any weapons. We have two spare weapons. That's it. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. I might need to tell shadow play to like stop doing whatever the hell it's doing because this is not really working for me. One moment. Uh, I don't even use shadow play for anything right now. There's really not much point having the overlay active. Uh, in game overlay off. Alright. Hopefully that'll do it. There we go. Back to smooth scrolling. Alright, so we only have two spare laser pistols. So two people will not have any weapons. Which I'm thinking might be a liability. <laughs> Just slightly. Um What I can do is just wait for people to die, pick their weapons up off the ground. And to just like rotate my weapons that way. Uh, we're gonna go to daytime so I don't need extra flares. Uh, so, these two guys at the back will not have a a weapon. That's fine. So better to bring them. So we're gonna make our way to the designated partying zone. Oh, I'm so sick of terror missions already. <laughs> Such a pain in the ass. And like, I'm so scared to like leave the cross because of that. We don't have a tank. Oh, it's just floaters, so that's not too bad. And we've spawned sort of in the corner, which is helpful. Uh, so I might smoke off like this whole area over here. Maybe like here. But then we can't see the civilian. It's helpful to know who's killing the civilian. Mm. Maybe smoke here so I don't have to defend that. It's kind of hoping he didn't have line of sight, but I guess the smoke's not thick enough there. Yeah, because like, there's only two bits of smoke in between. I need someone to go on the other side, if I don't want them getting shot, like here. Oh, hand Solo. What a beast. And for some reason Clint Eastwood is like, a colonel, except his stats are not very good. He's really brave though. Like his stats aren't bad, they're just not really kernel level stats. I think he just got lucky. Like 
because like he was one of the the first batch of people, but he just managed to survive the whole time. So he's just getting promotions for being alive, essentially. Exactly what you want to happen with your troops. Getting promotions for being alive. I'm surprised I can't see anything. Also, that was probably something I definitely shouldn't have done. <laughs> Moving them out and then not having enough to move them back. But these two at the back don't have any weapons, so they're just gonna chill on the Sky Ranger until someone dies. There's no secondary equipment for them just to like throw right out of spare grenades or anything. They really have no purpose until someone dies. There's a dude on a roof and this dude in the gas station. And there's a bunch of dudes in fog somewhere. And there's a shitload of them too. So that guy's a pistol. Another pistol is a reaper behind him. We got line of sight. Oh, he's another reaper. We got line of sight into this corridor. Yeah, there's another one there. Alright, so we'll just pull that guy back. Some more smoke cover. We pull back to like the veil. Be safe. I am thinking if we just like rocket launch to the middle, we can probably take out some more dudes with collateral damage. Probably aim it. Oh, he doesn't have enough time, so I still have to snap. Well, that was about the worst possible shot he could land. <laughs> Didn't actually grab any of the gas. There we go. Alright. Um, since he has the power suit, I want him to be in the front. It's like slightly ahead of everyone else, so he's the first person that gets seen by all the aliens. No line of fire? We can make line of fire, don't worry. I'm kinda surprised that didn't kill him. God damn it. Ah, well. We should try and get our rookies to get some experience. Mark Underwood. And then fire blocked by probably the first tree. Well, now both trees are gone. Um. Shit, dude. There's so many guys to take out. Even if I ignore the Reapers, I don't know if I have enough to do this from safety. Especially with shots like those. <laughs> Fingers crossed I'm not going to hit another civilian, which I can't see. I guess the priority should probably be this guy, actually. Because he's the closest. He's the most likely to um, find us. Any more though? No line of fire, block by another tree. And now you don't have enough time units. Ooh. Oh, nice shot. Probably why she's called Mary Sue. And of course, Donald Trump is a black guy in this game. No line of fire. Probably that tree, maybe the pole. We'll make land of fire. Oh, 
Pretty sure I just told him to target the ground next to the floor. But hey, as long as he hits the roof, I don't really mind. We don't really need more smoke cover. Um, 16, so he can't quite. What the hell are you doing? Hello, how's it going? What are you doing? Playing XCOM, dude. Why? Because we started an XCOM game at Yasha's. And now we must finish it. Very slowly. Wait. Uh, me, Hun, Yasha, Pri. Alright, well, I'll leave you to it and I'll get back to bed. Bye bye. Don't die. And good luck. Thanks. I. Okay. Thanks. I guess. Um. I think that's the only guy with time. Oh, we have two guys. Not quite two guys with time units. Uh, trees in the way. Come on, dude, hit the tree. It's right in front of you. Thank you. Oh, it didn't even kill it. There we go. Well, we hit him. Just didn't die. The V doesn't have enough for another shot. I guess we'll just chill. And hope, <laughs> hope the civilians don't get gunned down on the streets. Well, that actually went pretty well. No one else died. I'm kind of concerned that we can't see any other dudes though. Like the guy up here, we've lost the line of sight. Um. I wonder if it's worth just like trying to rock it like this. It will probably kill him with collateral if he's nearby. Like maybe here on this tree. I don't know. Oh uh, no. Oh well. Also, holy shit, why would you open the door when there's a reaper on the other side? These guys are dumb as bricks. I really thought that was about to hit a civilian. I am very glad I didn't. Well, I'm here. Did he just shoot? He totally just shot that guy. That's fine. Laser pistols are really good for missing. We got Donald Trump to take down the hedge. He's good with walls. Um, so there's a dude here, there's like a reaper, I think there was another reaper somewhere here, or was that, yeah I'm pretty sure there's two reapers, so we just don't have line of sight of the second one. Pull this guy in front, because again, power suit, so we want him to take as many hits as he can, does everyone else will probably die <laughs> if they take a hit. Unless it's a pistol shot. Or maybe a reaper. I don't know how much damage reapers do. I don't know if like armor will be enough to block it. Well, no more civilian casualties, which is good. Because there was a whole lot at the start. Still can't see anything. Oh, there we go. One. The floater. Hmm. Uh, I don't really want to turn the corner without smoke cover. This is already primed. There's a building in the way. So, if I move forward, I. Oh, what the fuck? It's right in front of us. 
Who's the rookie? Mark Underwood. Take the shot. That was... That was abysmal. But he did get the job done eventually, I guess. Better late than never. Just advance our... Uh, squad. <laughs> right around the hedge. It is your destiny. And we'll keep the rocket launcher a bit further back. Uh, someone has spare rockets. I thought, okay, here we go, there's one. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of the small rockets before we move on to the large rockets. Uh, the Reaper's not really a threat. Other, I'm more concerned about the civilian. Um, getting in the way with friendly fire, to be honest. I might just move my guys up slightly like that. Yeah, we can just react and show up the Reaper. Oh, shit. Oh my god. These guys partied way too hard. Holy shit. That was actually awful. My guys might start panicking. Okay, so Monica's nearly dead. I lost some of my best guys. But on the plus side, now I have spare weapons. So these guys with no equipment and no armor can come and save the day. <laughs> I don't know how they had line of sight of me. That's really concerning. Must have seen me through like this passage, like maybe they're over here, because the smoke isn't that dense there. Uh, but in any case, this person needs medkits ASAP. Let's get right on that. And let's work on smoking our flank before we get exploded with more grenades. <laughs> I totally jinxed it. I kept, when we started playing, I kept saying whenever we grouped up that we were going to die to grenades and it finally happened. We died to grenades. Uh, so, what I can do is get this guy to dash over here, take a look down the alley. There's nothing there. Yet. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Monica, some vengeance. I just hope there's no civilians in like the line of fire. <laughs> the lag is pistol shot. Um. Very merry Sue. Step up to the plate. It is your turn to fire at the floater. She has line of sight. That's weird. Not that it seems to be mattering. And as I say that, she takes the shot. Of course. Uh, so Monica's gonna become unconscious soon. And I think one of the guys on the ground didn't die. Uh, who has enough time units to check? Get Donald Trump to do it. I think one of these guys is alive. Yeah, this guy's alive. Got lucky. The other two died. Got that one. Okay, so... Now oh, Clint Eastwood has a grenade. Shit. Um... I need Han Solo to heal him then. Of course Han Solo also has a grenade. It's fine. Alright, so now he won't bleed out at least. Um, I don't really want him to just stand up and have no equipment, so I'm not going to stim him. 
we'll just chill again. Reaper, no big deal. Floater, actually a big deal. Alright. Where's the rocket launcher? Oh, it's over there. Um. I don't think my guys are really in a great position for this. I can get a shot from here, but that's not a very good shot. Mm, Clint's not a bad shot though. One more hit will take him out. Ugh. Donald Trump to save the day. Can Donald Trump keep you illegal aliens out? No, he can't. Of course he can't. Um. Holy shit, this is going really badly. I needed those guys alive. Because with the tank gone, there's just... There's just not a whole lot to work with. Um, thank you. Alright, back into the smoke. Because we've just been bleeding people for the last few missions, which is unfortunate, but hey, what can you do if you're fighting aliens? Uh, you should lose line of sight. You don't get picked off. <sighs> well, that sound was not fun. I'm pretty sure it was just a stun um, launcher. I think it came from here. I'm, I'm guessing I was the one who breached this wall. Otherwise I don't understand what happened. Um, uh, if it's just stuns then I don't really mind if they shoot at us. to pick up weapons from your dead bodies. <laughs> it's pretty morbid. But you gotta do what you gotta do. It's aliens versus humans. Oh. The pistol's like, he can just hold the med kit. He doesn't need to worry about the extra hand. Um, and like, I don't need to immediately kill the Reaper either. Alright. This is setting ourselves up for to be wiped by AoE again. Okay, so the reef is not a threat, but something was shooting over here, and that is a threat. Another reaper. Okay. Um, I could. I think I'll just auto one reaper. Get him really low. Try to get a rookie kill. Well, close enough. And then I'll just leave the other one for reaction shots. Nope. Because when... What? Like Underwood passed out. Oh, that was the guy that just revived. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um... Ooh. He's about to pass out. Maybe she should pull back out of the smoke. Um, there's so much smoke that like it's almost impossible to get over here and still have enough time units to not die to things. Oh, there he is. Alright, perfect. Um, I'll take 17. Okay. Oh, beast. 
Except now he's exposed to the repo. I'm pretty sure that's okay. I'm pretty sure he can survive being bitten. Yeah, he took no damage. So let's try and get the rookies and kills. Excellent. And then Han Solo can do some more scouting. Another Reaper, of course. Alright. Back into the shadows, maybe just here. I'll move everyone up. Unless I misclick, in which case we don't. Um. I'm still worried about the stun guy up here somewhere. Oh, even more Reapers. Holy shit, that's a lot of Reapers. My main concern is that the Reapers will give line of sight to people with AoE weapons. And then bad things will happen to all of us. But on the other hand, I can train my reactions by just shooting Reapers, which are like no threat. So... Also, like, civilians don't seem to be dying very rapidly anymore, so... That is excellent. I'll try and take out this fatal. The... Rookie. No oh, fire. Oh, I must have misclicked. Oh. Oh, well, we hit him. Send for one more? Yeah, perfect. Oh, that last shot was really close, but not quiet. Alright. Uh, yeah, so Mark Underwood was the guy who just rezzed. But he's gonna nearly pass out, so we're gonna pull him back. Plus, you know, he's nearly dead. Um, on a guy. Take out this hostile. When you have line of sight. Well, good effort. Try again. Whatever. Um, who needs experience? This guy can do some shooting. Oof. That gives hell projectile. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty happy to just like, let them bite me. Actually, maybe not like that close, maybe like this close. Do we get that juicy reaction training? Dude, these are some good shots. Um, I'm gonna pull this guy away. Everyone else is fine. Perfect. And this guy probably has no damage taken. Oh, shit. That actually hurt him a lot. <laughs> uh, well, the important thing is he lived. And he'll be fine later. Some more reaction training. The fact that a door just opened while the aliens are still moving means there's a floater. Well, technically, it could be a Reaper, but probably a floater still flying around somewhere. We know that there's a guy up here, so maybe it's that guy. But he has like a stun launcher. Guess it's time to start scouting. Uh, I will support my scout over here with people who are nearly dead. <laughs> but I don't expect to find anything. Um. I think being half health with a power suit is better than like being full health with uh with just personal armor. So he went berserk. Because we're trying to shut down his party. 
But that also means there's at least two floaters still around. Because, again, we haven't actually dealt with the guy who shot us with a stun round. So, that guy's floating around, which is a nice pattern because they're floaters. And then we still have um, the guy who just went berserk as well. Let's maybe do some more scouting. I guess we can move up. Keep the guy without armor one square back. This three doesn't get destroyed <laughs> by a glancing blow of a weak weapon. They're using some heavy plasmas, so if this guy gets shot with one of those, he's just gonna die. I'm gonna just pull him back for now. Okay, so that movement cycle was really short, that's really good. Uh, this guy killed the civilian. So, that's fine. He's already dead. Oh, what the hell? He wasn't there before. I didn't see a weapon. Oh, actually, maybe th these pixels on the right, maybe that's a weapon. Uh, who needs experience? You could do with some experience. Shoot him dead. Nice. Alright, he had a heavy plasma. I'm really glad I did that. By the civilian. That was another really short one. Um, maybe just chill there. Holy shit. Oh, he's a. That's the guy with the stun launcher. Oh, just to capture him alive. Try again. There we go. Ugh. So eight civilians refused to part with the aliens, and there was a civilian that looked like an alien that we shot, and we lost two guys, but we lost two really good guys. Ugh. God damn it! Clint Eastwood is now a commander, and both our hand solos got promoted. Whatever. Welcome home. Alright, let's get some money. Because for some reason, people like buying corpses. That's a lot of heavy plasmas. Oh, uh, we might as well sell these. Let's because the tank died. And I'm not going to rebuy it, I'm going to try and just um, build a new one because laser cannon's being researched and it's going okay. Once laser cannon's researched, I'm pretty sure that lets you research a laser cannon equipped on a tank. So. And that will be handy. Um, what are we low on? Other than the fact that we have no weapons. <laughs> Running low on smokes. I just bought more missiles. Um, we're running low on people because <laughs> they keep dying. <laughs> um, yeah, not having a tank is really inconvenient after playing most of the game with a tank because the tank doesn't immediately die when it gets shot, so you can be a bit more reckless with it. 
It's good for scouting. Okay, so these are a bunch of dudes at a secondary base, but they have no equipment yet. We're still building it. Slowly, <laughs> very slowly. For navigation. In it, craft use sophisticated computers to navigate on Earth and through space. The system is based on optical processes ranged in network fashion. The control interface is relatively simple. The navigator controls the direction of gravity waves generated by the power source to move the craft in any direction. The system can be used easily by humans and it can be reproduced using alien alloys and other components. What is other components? Oh boy. I don't remember what each of these is. But as I say that, I think I remember, I think an improved interceptor is one of the mods, so it basically just gives you an interceptor made of alien alloys, which is, it's okay. Like, it's not OP, which is why I installed it, it makes sense. Um, let's get started on that. The laser cannon should be nearly done, so I'm going to take some people off it to not waste the research. Uh, okay, so this is one of the other bases. Again, they have no equipment, so if the aliens come, we just lose instantly at that base. Um, I'm just trying to decide what equipment I want the secondary bases to have. Because we just unlocked flying suits. Obviously, we can't give everyone flying suits at the secondary bases because that costs way too much. I'm just trying to decide should we give them power suits or personal armor? Right now, I'm thinking a mix of both probably makes the most sense. But they also need weapons quite badly. <laughs> so we'll make 20 power suits. That should. Oh, we want our primary squad to have like all flying suits though. Uh, we can use power suits. Um, distributed across like all the bases. Uh, so what's what's the priority here? It's plenty of space. I might take a few people off of the power suits and start building uh, personal armor for the secondary bases. Maybe 10 guys, 20 suits. Which would take a long time, but I'd prefer to have them partially equipped. Alright. Rename our dudes. Bruno and Armand. I have I have the obvious solution here. Oh, his stats. Oh, they're not too bad. Bruno. Bruno is also not too bad. Oh, and uh, Keys is not wounded anymore. Laser cannon. Here we go. This conventional laser beam is powered by an antimatter reaction chamber. Laser defense, crap, we can't research the cannon on a tank yet. We have to research, I guess, laser defense first. And maybe then we can. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we need that as well. <laughs> Which of these is the least important? Probably the power suits. And uh, the personal armor is pretty important. But like, this tank is really important, because it means we don't have to have armor, we have a tank to do it for us. And we want one at every base. Maybe two at like, all the secondary bases, this is going to take an, an eon to build. 
Oh, it's only a month. That's actually pretty good. Perfect. We did good, boys. Um. Yeah, this space hat is absolutely retarded. Uh, somewhere around I have some notes written down about base layouts. And this is not the way you're supposed to build a base like this. Unless you want three hangers, but... I don't, so... That was a large mistake. But I'll love. I don't really want to build any laser cannons. Or the interceptors. Like, the range is just too short. So, there's not really a point. Have we built any tanks yet? Maybe. No, not yet. But we might get one done soon. Maybe. It might be a day. Um... Let's expedite that. You know what, let's just expedite it as much as we can. Without removing everyone from the other projects. And we'll try and build one before this mission. There we go, alright, perfect. Thank. There we go. And we have some laser rifles too, which is perfect. And now that we have the tank, we don't need to bring as much other crap. Um. I mean, realistically, the small rockets aren't even that useful anymore. But they also don't sell for anything good, so I mean, might as well, right? This guy's wounded, so he doesn't need armor. A few power suits done, which is good. Uh, let's bring along Armand and give him some armor. I might just give these guys armor, so I don't forget to give it to them later. And off we go. 